Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Guys, in the four previous videos we talked about some jiu-jitsu, but in this segment we want to talk about some solo as well as partner drills you can do for some jiu-jitsu warm-ups as well as conditioning. Depending on the intensity as well as the time frame we're going to be using each exercise. Sometimes we use them just lightly to warm up before classes or training sessions and other times we'll do them as part as a circuit for more jiu-jitsu type conditioning to enhance our cardiovascular system as well as muscular endurance like time under tension kind of thing in jiu-jitsu position. So check it out. All right, so all the techniques we're going to show you today, you can do for a set amount of time or a set amount of reps, all right, however you like to do them. Uh, but we're going to go through a couple of exercises we do. We're going to be doing some partner drills as well as some solo drills. All right, so partner drills, all right, one of them we like to do is simply the arm drag. So I'm going to grab a hold of his wrist, and now the opposite arm is going to go underneath his armpit as such. Now I need to drag him to make a step forward, but I want to also step around him so I can go to his waist behind him. So it's going to go like this. I'm going to go one, step across, and as I land, I'm right behind him, all right? So, and then we just start back. So sometimes I can go nonstop from left to right side, drag him here as I step and come around. Now from here, I'll clinch to the waist. Or other times, you might even drill it where I go one, he goes one, right? So it's an I go, you go kind of thing. So as we go here, he steps around, get to here, and now Alex goes, wrist control, arm drag, and as he turns behind me, he keeps a hold of my waist, right? So we'll just go back and forth nonstop. Uh, sometimes we'll do rounds, and this is one great exercise just to get a hold of always dragging the arm and stepping behind the partner. Another good one is also from the wrist control. Sometimes what we're gonna do here is just bring the elbow up as such. As I step, I'm gonna bring this up and get this duck under position. Now notice as I stepped across, I'm gonna quarter turn around him, and once again, I'm straight behind his back, all right? So, once more, all I'm going to do is grab the wrist, lift the elbow up. When I bring the wrist up, there's going to be that second where there's a lot of space here. And I'm going to step across from here and then turn around so I can get behind him, right? Once again, I can do a rep, he does a rep, or I can go nonstop from left to right side for a set amount of reps or time. One very important concept in jiu-jitsu is called the underhook, underhooking your partner. It simply means having one arm underneath his arm, right? straight up into the armpit. Notice how Alex has the same position on this side. What we do to practice this and have the instinct of always going inside the arm is called swimming or pummeling. So we're gonna go one arm inside, he does the same. One arm inside, he does the same. So we synchronize our movements together as such. So when you're first starting out, you might just start with the upper body movement. Square stance, just from here. Just pummeling as such. Once you're more seasoned, and well coordinated in this with your training partner, what you want to do is the side where you have the underhook, that leg is going to be leading your stance. All right, so as I bring this one, he does the same thing on the opposite side, but watch as I pummel my arm, my feet are going to switch, so does his, all right? And we do the same thing from the right leg, left leg, right leg, and eventually this becomes a great drill where we just go nonstop, shoulder endurance nonstop, and also we might even add the addition of resisting. I'm trying to give him a hard time to bring his arm underneath me, all right? And we get into a wrestling match like this where it builds a lot of coordination, but also a lot of muscular endurance in your arms and shoulders. Now we get to the ground, and this is a very conventional exercise. This is called the bridge. So basically, Alex has his legs bent, and although this is a classic exercise, it's a good one because it develops a lot of glute, quadriceps and hamstring strength in your legs. It's great exercise for, you know, just as a calisthenic exercise, but also something that's going to serve you to remember to always use your legs in order to raise somebody off of you when you use the bridge, all right? So now he's going to bridge to one side, boom, and then come back and bridge to the opposite side. And we'll do this nonstop for a set amount of reps or a set amount of time as well. Sometimes we'll just combine this exercise into a circuit to really burn out legs or lower body training sessions, such as you know putting a circuit of only squats, bridges, and other different types of uh, body weight exercises just for the lower body. So this is a great one to use in your jiu-jitsu arsenal. Next up, of course, since we're on the ground, is going to be the hip escape or the shrimp. 
So now Alex is going to shrimp to one side. Sometimes we do it with only one foot onto the mat. Other times we'll have both feet on the mat and just shrimp up on our toes as such, all right? So sometimes we'll use it with the toes, other times with a flat foot. It all depends on the type of tactic you're trying to use to use your hip escape, all right? But the bottom line is this. You want to be able to bring your hips as far away. So you imagine there's an opponent beside you and you want to escape your hips as far to create a lot of space. That way there you can move yourself from the bottom position. So shrimping or hip escapes are a great addition to your jiu-jitsu curriculum. Next up we have sit-outs. Right? So you're going to be on all fours as such. Now what we're going to do is raise one hand off the mat and on that same side we're going to shoot our leg through and across our body into a sit-out fashion. Now we're going to go on the opposite side and sit out here. Now you can start slow and eventually build a speed out where you can go as fast as Alex and go left to right where it's just a fraction of a second where you just touch the mat. Very good. Building on this we also have the standing sit-out. So this time, Alex, face the camera, and now go up on your toes like a bear crawl position. And now we're going to use, elevate even higher, stand up, yeah, and we're going to use the full sit out from a standing position. So go left to right, boom, and then we come back, and boom. And on this one, to get even more muscular endurance, notice how he elevates his foot towards the ceiling. This is going to elevate the shoulder stability workout and it's great for jiu-jitsu positions. It's a great one for your workouts. Next up, very resembling what we just did, is the four corners. So Alex is going to start on all fours, palms and toes. All right. So now, as he raises one hand off the mat, he wants to ensure that foot takes that position, rotates, and places his hand into a crab position. Now from here, he removes one hand, and now from there, brings this foot across and under his body to come back into the initial position. And we can go as fast or as slow as we want. On this one, if you go fast, it's great cardio. But if you go nice and controlled in a slower manner, this one builds a little bit more muscular stability and muscular endurance. Great for jiu-jitsu. So I would recommend you practice in both directions with the four corners. Okay, watch this next one. This is great for guard passing, great for stability to teach you when you're first starting out how to stand up in the close guard position to pass the guard, all right? So posture stands is what we'll call this one. So Alex is sitting on his heels. Number one, he wants to elevate up onto his knees. Number two, take a step. And number three, opposite side, so he's in the standing position. Now we'll go everything in the reverse order. One knee down, second one down, and have a seat, all right? So posture up, one, step, and step, and he's up, and then come back down, one, two, and three. And we'll keep this going nonstop from the right to left and then left to right, nonstop. Sometimes to make sure that you don't lean forward, you can do this in front of a wall. So that way there, every time you do the exercise, you try to keep your upper body straight, because that's the exact way you want to do when you pass the guard and when you stand up, you don't want to be leaning forward and lose your balance. Or just like in the previous video, when you saw Alex use the balloon sweep, you don't want to be giving that to your training partner. So for example, if I was a wall here and I'm just standing, Alex wants to make sure his head is up straight as he does the motion. So that way there, he keeps everything straight as he comes back down, never leans forward to hit the wall, for example. And this is a good way to practice how you want to posture and stand up. Using the posture stand-ups now, if you have a training partner that's about the same size or even lighter, this is a great way to build a little bit more strength and stability in your legs. So what you're going to do is grab a hold of the jacket, get a good grip here. You can go double grips or just hold the belt or the pants, all right? So just get a good hold on your partner's upper body. Now, you're going to use the posture stand-ups we just did. So number one, you posture up on your knees. Two, step up here. Three, as you rotate and you bring the other foot up, now you want to raise your partner off the mat, drop him gently, and now reverse the order of knee, knee, and now sit back down on your heels. All right, so notice how you bring your body up. So off your heels, you bring yourself up on your knee, stand up, bring the other foot up. As you're up, you drag him up, elevate, leg strength and stability, drop him gently, step down, step down, and have a seat. And we'll just continue that motion nonstop, one, two, as I rotate, three, and then raise, drop him gently, step back down, down, and from here have a seat. 
and we'll do these for repetitions or time. Another great exercise for core strength, your abs as well as your grip, the grip of your ankles holding the close guard position is a simple sit up from the close guard, right? So Alex is just gonna do a sit up towards me. He goes one, two, and these are way more difficult than they seem. So as you do these sit ups, now you have no stability because you're not having your feet posted onto the mat. So Alex keeps the close guard position and does his sit ups from here. Now if you wanna raise and elevate the intensity of this exercise, what you're gonna do now is Alex is gonna keep the guard closed and I'm going to elevate him off the mat like this. Now I wanna use my legs as a chair. Now I'm gonna release this grip and Alex is gonna sit himself up into a sit up position. So now not only is the intensity of this exercise elevated, now the ankle strength is amplified because now he has to not let go of the close guard position. Now, if you're just starting out, what you can do is grab on the outside of the gi and just help yourself up. Make sure you have a stable training partner and help yourself up as, as such. All right, very good. All right, this next one is for leg strength, leg endurance as well, okay? Depending on how many reps you're gonna do, the leg presses. So Alex is gonna keep the open guard position, grab a hold of my sleeves, and now I'm gonna let my body weight drop gently towards him but he has to resist and push me away one holds the grip so i don't fall behind now i'm going to let myself drop again he does just like a leg press movement where he pushes me away returns and pushes away just like a squat right so imagine you know those leg press machines you have in conventional gyms same thing using your partner so here pushes me away comes back and pushes me away comes back and pushes me away great exercise to develop your leg conditioning, but also that open guard position you'll have in Jiu Jitsu. All right, the last one is probably the most challenging one. This one is the monkey climb, all right? So what you wanna do is find a training partner that's lighter than you and hop on behind you in a monkey or seat belt position behind. So Alex is gonna jump on my back, but it's important for you to have a good stable base. So if you're at home training with someone or your child, make sure you're very solid so they don't fall and you fall underneath them. So have a good stable base. And now I'm gonna bring my arms out as such, all right? So almost like a scarecrow, but I'm gonna get into a squat position. So now Alex is gonna jump behind me, one. And now from here, I'm gonna get my base, make sure I'm stable. And now I'm gonna give him the green light to go around as a monkey. So he's gonna go under hook here, goes around, and he has to clamp himself around my gi, my shoulders, and go up in front. And I might even help him a little bit. You see I'm helping him just slightly, so that way there he can get the front position, which is the guard. Now he has to do the complete turn again, underneath, clamp onto my legs, use his leg strength, endurance, climb himself back up using the gi, and climb around my shoulder, and I'll grab, <laughs> and pull himself back up, right? So this is a challenging exercise, but also a fun one to use, very good Alex, with your training partner or your child at home. This is great because what happens now is if you have a nice matted surface, there's no danger. Worst case scenario, they just drop to their feet and you just reset. So what we sometimes do in the kids' classes is we might even say, let's see who does the most turns around. So one full circle, gets one point, so let's see how many points you can get. So this is the monkey climb. Great exercise because it teaches you how to grip around somebody and not let go, and that isometric strength to clamp on, which is great and transferable for jiu-jitsu. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some partner drills, some solo drills, stuff you can use for conditioning yourself for the sport of BJJ. Guys, leave us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.